When working with posts in WordPress, you have the option to add categories and tags to your posts. Note that these aren't available for pages, just for posts. But if we're in a post, on the right hand side here, you'll see categories and you'll see tags. These function essentially the same way, and can, you can use them any way you want, but I'll give you some guidelines on how people typically use them. For categories, you're required to use at least one category. You'll see mine is pre-selected here with general. Uh, WordPress comes with a category called uncategorized that I recommend you rename to general or main or blog or something better sounding than uncategorized. So if you forget to categorize a post properly, it'll show up there instead of uncategorized. And in theory, you should have perhaps eight to 10 categories total. Fewer is certainly better. If you get into 20 or 30, that means you're probably not as focused as you need to be. But again, you literally can have as many as you want. So it's up to you and how you want to handle that. Tags, a lot of sites don't use. I'd say in general, you probably shouldn't use tags, but there are some good use cases for it. If you want to use tags, the way I recommend you split things up is to have categories to categorize your posts and tags to talk about the nouns within your post, the people, places, and things in your post so people can find other posts with those same tags. A good example is over with our friends here at Magnolia Days, a recipe site. If we look at this, this is the lemon sour cream cookies recipe. If you go to the bottom to see the categories and tags that it's in, we'll see it's filed under the category of cookies, bars, and squares. It's a single category. And then tagged with cookies, lemon, recipe, and sour cream. The idea here being you can look at all the, uh, all the recipes that have lemon in them. So I click lemon, I'll go to the tag page, see everything that's lemon related. Great way to organize things. It works very well for them. Again, not something you necessarily should use, but if you have a good use case for it, it could work well. So you can select categories just by checking the box. Tags work similarly. I don't have any on here, but you can type them in if you want. Choose some of those used tags if you want uh, to see what you've used a lot of before. But again, I typically don't use that. And in a lot of sites, even what we do is if you go to the top, we've talked before about screen options. We can click that and just hide the tags completely. There's no need for us to see them. Uh, for categories, though, you can add a new category right in here. You can just type what you want, have it be a category, have it be a child category or something else. If you want to nest one under the other. And then if you ever want to work with your categories, you can click on categories on the left here under posts, same with tags, but in categories and see all the categories. In this case, we also have descriptions for our categories because we've written this theme specifically to show those descriptions. Most themes do not show descriptions by default, so you probably would be wasting your time, but it depends on your theme and your goals for the site. You notice here that general, most of these have a checkbox where I can edit them and then they also have a delete when I hover. General does not have that checkbox, nor does it have delete because it is the default category. So again, I took uncategorized and renamed it as general and it showed up here. You can also change that in the settings menu to choose what your default category is. So in this case, you can see general has zero posts. I try not to post anything there. I try to get everything posted in specific categories for what I'm trying to do. But again, if I forget to choose a category, that will be the default. It'll look better having it in general rather than uncategorized. So that's a quick look at categories and tags you can use on your posts. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.